Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a lipstick swatch video. So I have several, five, of the YSL Rouge Pure Couture lipsticks. So this is what the packaging looks like. And the name of it is on the top there. Unfortunately, on the actual lipsticks, um, only the number is on it. The name isn't on it. So you kind of have to keep the packaging if you want to know what the actual name is. Or you can just look it up online. But yeah, so the name isn't on here, only the number. These lipsticks retail, I believe, for $38. And... I got a really good deal. You may have seen it too if you like YSL. Um, recently, probably about a month ago maybe, they had a sale and on certain items, it was buy one, get one free. So I thought that was an awesome deal. I ended up getting six. I picked one for my mom, so I only have five here to show you. Um, but I do have kind of a good color range. To show you so I'm excited about that so let me read you the description of these lipsticks okay so the description I have it on my iPad here Rue's pure couture delivers rich and luxurious color in satin and matte finishes in just one stroke luxurious and highly pigmented color dresses the lips with intense hydration and antioxidant care uh, the signature couture jewel-like packaging, Rouge Pure Couture delivers the promise of edgy style and ultimate feminine strength. So some benefits are um, it's a pure color in a satin or matte finish and hydrospheres and natural extracts provide all day comfort and hydration. Now they do have, like it says, um, satin and matte. I believe all of these are satin. I don't think I got any matte ones. I'm not a huge fan of matte lipsticks. And they do have it broken up, which I think is kind of cool, into neutrals and mauves, roses and corals, and pinks and plums. I think I got one pretty much from every uh, or from all of those categories. We're going to start with the lightest one. What I have on my lips now is kind of what's left over. It was a Wet n Wild, I think. Was it Wet n Wild? I think so. Um, lipstick. I really like it, actually. If I can find it, I'll link it below for you. It's just really a good kind of everyday color. So let me get this off. And we're going to start with the lightest one. We're going to start with number 70. And it's called Le Nu. So L-E-N-U. So two words. So let me get this off and then we'll start with that one. Before I start putting them on, I want to show you these lids. So you can get kind of um, personalized or what do they call them? Actually, it's not showing on the website now, but you can get lids of diff like just different lids and you can even get them engraved. So I picked out some lids and they're $5, $5 extra. So with the buy one, get one free ended up being $2.50 extra. I didn't do it on all of them, but I thought it was just so cool. So here's one. It has stars on it. How pretty is that? And then here's another one with these hearts. So red and blue hearts. Super cute. And then the last one just has hearts. How pretty. Um, and actually, what I did on the one with the stars is I got my name engraved on it. So you can get your name engraved. You can do a certain amount of characters, and you can also do a, an emoji. They have ones that you can pick from. So I did the star and my name. So I just think that I, that is just so cute to, you know, have in your purse. All right, let's go ahead and start with number 70, Lanou. And this is what it looks like. I have tried these on just very quickly the other day. So that's what it looks like. And there is, yeah, so there's engraving there. And I will swatch it on my arm for you. So there's that swatch. So really, this is kind of an everyday color and like I said it is a satin finish so let me go ahead and put this one on so number 70 Lanou the next one I will try on is number 57 and it's called luminous pink so it's quite a bit brighter 
but a really pretty color. It's a pretty color. So let me wipe this off and I will put this one on. One thing about all of these is they are very pigmented and I think that's something that they said in the description. So yeah, I didn't really build up. I just kind of fixed the edges and it's really pigmented and I think that's great. It actually, um, I wore one of them the other day, one that we'll see in just a minute, and it really did stain my lips. So I think that's pretty good, you know, if you wanna keep something on your lips for most of the day and don't wanna to have to worry about touching up, I think these would be a great option. But they're still really, really smooth. So this is number 57, Luminous Pink. Next we have number 13 and it's called Le Orange. And this is a very different color for me actually, but I thought it would be fun. I haven't tried this one on yet. So it is still pristine looking and it's an orange. So there's that one. I'm excited to try this on, but you can see just how pigmented that is. So this is very much out of the box for me. And this isn't gonna go with what I'm wearing because I'm wearing um, kind of pinky, uh, pinky blush, so it's not really gonna go, but it's a pretty summer color. Uh, if you have darker skin, it may look really, really good on you. So this is Le Orange. Next, I'm gonna try number 58, and 58 is called Mauve Nihilist. So let me get this off, and actually let me go ahead and do a swatch here. I mean, these are just so buttery soft. So it's a really pretty color. So let me get this off, and then I will try that one on. Such a pretty color. So this is number 58, Mauve Nihilist. Lastly, we have number four. This is called Rouge Vermilion. So it's a really pretty kind of um, berry color. And I actually did wear this one the other day. So I'm, I just didn't put these in the best place, did I? But there it is. And this is the one that I noticed that really does leave a stain. So I think that that's a really good thing. So let me get this off and then we'll try that one. Okay, number four. I actually really, really like this color. I'd seen this on L Florence on her channel. Uh, this is like her signature lipstick. And I looked at it at Sephora and thought, no, there's no way that I can wear this because it'll be too, kind of too dark or bright or red for me because uh, red's kind of, and I kind of freaked out about reds a lot of the time. But when I put it on, I was really pleasantly surprised. Uh, it does really go on smooth, like I said. And it, you know, you can blot it to make it a little less impactful. So let me do that. I blotted it just a tad bit and I think it looks pretty good. This is a good everyday color too, you know, if this is your thing for an everyday color, but I actually really do like it. So um, I like these lipsticks. I think they're really nice. Just again, here are the colors. I don't know why I put them here. So we have number 70, Lanou. So this is number 57, Luminous Pink. Number 13, Lit Orange. Number 58, Mauve Nihilist. And number four, Rouge Vermilion. And yes, they're expensive. If you can get them on sale, then maybe try it. Look for another one of their buy one, get one free sales because really to pay well, $38, so half of that, what is that? I don't know. That's $17, $18, that's a really good buy for YSL lipsticks. And also, it comes with these cute little bags. So I'm not sure if it came with these because I ordered the, the pretty lids, I'm not really sure, but I got a couple of them and they're just really pretty to put your stuff in. I probably won't put my lipsticks in them, but you know, it's pretty. All right, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Do you have a favorite of the YSL lipsticks or even the Wet n Wild lipsticks that I mentioned at the beginning? 
that's a really good one too. So let me know what your favorite lipstick is. And again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.